Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss a logarithm equation which applies both the laws of logarithms and the laws of indices. Solve the equation 3 logarithm of x to base 2 minus 8 the logarithm of 2 to base x equals to 10. So to begin with, I'm going to introduce a law of logarithm which says that uh, in case we have the logarithm of a to base b, this can be equated to the reciprocal of the logarithm of b to base a. You interchange the number and the base. So by that, we will have 3, the logarithm of x to base 2 minus 8 multiplied by, now instead of what I'm having there, I can take the reciprocal, then I have it becoming the logarithm of x to base 2. Then this is equivalent to 10. So I have changed the base according to that law. Now that the logarithm of x to base 2 is appearing twice, we can let the logarithm of x to base 2 be something like, uh, let's call it t unknown, so that uh, 3 multiplied by t minus 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of t is equivalent to 10. We can cross multiply through by t, so that this is 3t squared minus 8 equivalent to 10t. We can rearrange the equation so that it takes a quadratic shape. And this will give us a 3t squared minus 10t minus 8 equivalent to 0. It's now quadratic and we can solve it quadratically. Allow me use one of the methods of solving quadratic equations, that is the factorization method, whereby I need a product of I need a product of a times c, whereby it's 3 times negative 8, giving us negative 24, and a sum of the value at b, which is a negative 10. So these two factors, when multiplied, they give us negative 24, and when added, negative 10 are 12 and positive 2. So that I write now the equation starting with 3 t squared minus 12 t positive 2 t. Then we have minus uh, 8. This is equivalent to 0. At this point now we can factorize in every two terms. We factor out what is common. In the first two, 3t is common. So that will remain with t minus 4. In the next two, uh, 2 is common. We remain with t again minus 4. And this is equal to 0, which means uh, we can take the common factor now. Then the other factor is 3t plus 2 equivalent to 0. Uh, t minus 4 can be 0 or 3t plus 2 can also be 0. At this point, we can now say, at this point, we can now say the value of t is either 4 or the value of t is negative 2 over 3. Those are the two possible values of t. But what are we left to be t? That is the logarithm of x to base 2. So we can say else the logarithm of x to base 2 can either be 4 or the logarithm of x to base 2 can be negative 2 over 3. At this point, now we can change logarithm statements to index notation, whereby we say uh, we can change a log equation, logarithm of a to base b. If this is equal to c, then it implies that in case we take b power c, we will get the value of a. So that relationship can be used to convert logarithm to index notation. So this means 2 power 4 in the first case 
can give us x or 2 power negative 2 that can also give us x. In the first case, the value of x will be 16. And in the second case, the value of x will be if we take, we apply the laws of indices now, uh, we have to take the reciprocal of 2, then the power becomes positive. That is what we call the negative law of indices. Then now at this point, we can finalize and say x equals 2. We apply the fractional law of indices, the third root of half, then squared. This will give us exactly 0 0.62996. So those are the two possible values of X.